Action Comics issue 1021 heads to the recent past and sees Apex Lex finalize his plans and the Legion of Doom's plans for Metropolis. Lex knows his world will not be the same after today and this is what history looks and feels like. In the present, Lex confronts the defeated Superman, telling him that the towering city above him is the collected genius of Leviathan and with the Legion's blessing, they will now take over Metropolis once Superman is gone. Since Superman didn't surrender, Lex had to do this a hard way, but Superman tries to convince Lex that what he's doing is wrong. Lex says that this is all Clark's fault as Red Cloud restrains him, introduced to Superman as Lex's new other associate. Lex says that the gangs of Metropolis call Red Cloud their leader now, and thanks to him, she is whole now. As Clark is choked by the villain, Grodd wonders why she isn't leading this whole thing if she's so powerful. So Lex tells him it's all about experience, and Red Cloud's display here is why she is getting his entire former kingdom. He calls in Leviathan, but Mark does not answer making Superman wonder what he promised him. As emergency services workers arrive, Superman demands to know what Leviathan promised Lex, wondering if he's in charge now. Lex says that they are ushering in the next era of For the World, and Superman, the person who has frustrated them the most, has now been dealt with. Suddenly, Superboy attacks Lex, smashing him into the ground, but Brainiac and Sinestro help their leader beat Connor into the ground. Batman emerges from the rubble, saying the Justice League is who they should be dealing with before immediately being set upon by Grodd. Superman continues to be choked out by Red Cloud, who is told by Lex to kill him. Superman says that he wants them to spare Superboy and the bus full of kids down the street, since there are kids trapped inside of it and it's on fire. Red Cloud considers the words, throwing Superman into Lex and the Legion and blasting them before flying off to save the children on the bus. Sinestro says that Lex was supposed to have this under control as Superman punches Lex in the face. Sinestro blasts Superman with his ultraviolet ring, wanting to know where Leviathan is as Superman finds Connor in the rubble, telling him to count to three before they attack. Connor says he doesn't need to thanks to his super speed, so both attack the Legion as Wonder Woman battles Cheetah. As Jimmy documents the battle from afar with his camera, Superman, Red Cloud, and the Justice League confront the Legion, who note that their secret weapon is now the League's secret weapon. As the teams charge at one another, a bright light activates and suddenly the Legion are gone. Red Cloud knows this wasn't part of Luthor's plan, but Wonder Woman is only interested in the villain's surrender. Superman thanks her for her change of heart, but Batman says that that doesn't mean she gets off scot-free. Leviathan's voice booms over the group, saying the heroes know in their hearts that there was a battle of good and evil, but this was meant to be the world of tomorrow, and look at what the heroes have done to it. Mark appears, and Superman wants to know where Luther is, so Leviathan tells them that they are gone, as far away as he could send them, and he did it without causing any damage to the city, something the heroes refused to do. Mark says that Luther wanted to use force and squash the League, but Mark is sick of the rich, bald lunatic telling him what to do. Red Cloud isn't too happy and Mark knows this, knowing she needs time to process what is happening, but Superman has proven that he still has it and he alone was able to get through to her, and while he wants to recruit her, Mark knows tomorrow is another day. Mark says that he would have destroyed the Legion permanently just for show, but thanks to the dangerous multi-dimensional powers they all have, it's just too dangerous. Plus he knew Luke Luther probably has safeguards in place should he die. Batman tells Superman Leviathan isn't actually there, he's just some hologram, something that Superman already knows. Mark says that he wants the League to know that if one fights against Superman or Wonder Woman or any of them, they are on the wrong side, something he knows Superman is already well aware of. Superman calls the man a murderer who's stolen and bullied people to do what he says, and he knows that something like that never actually works. Leviathan says that Legion or League, it doesn't matter, it's all the same to him and his people. He tells them it's all crazy and people know that you don't humour crazy. As he leaves, he tells the League that he had nothing to do with the League's never-ending madness and how it shaped the world and now he has a lot of work ahead of him. Flash says that he could help with the cleanup, but Leviathan tells him that that would teach them nothing. As Metropolis smoulders, the Justice League and Young Justice get to work, mobilising to help the emergency services. Superman and Superman Superboy take off into the sky, where Clark tells Connor that he was very much needed. The two sit and take a moment as Clark says that sometimes he feels like the League are holding on by a thread, but then everyone looks to him 
for leadership. Connor says that they should go try and clean up since that always helps. Clark knows that that is something a Kent would say, so Connor introduces himself as Connor Kent, wanting Superman's help. Clark says that the young Justice helps save the city and everyone he loves, so after all of this is cleaned up, they will go and figure out who Connor Kent is. The heroes get to work, and while working, Batman meets with Superman, knowing that they need to go for Leviathan now. Red Cloud, meanwhile, manages to sneak away from the aftermath, meeting with Leone and telling her that she couldn't kill Superman despite all the power she had. Transforming back into her human form, Robinson learns that Superman will soon be coming forward with his secret identity in the Daily Planet newspaper of all places. Robinson is excited and wonder who is going to get the story but Leone knows she's missing the point since there was a big Legion versus League fight and Superman is sick of being Superman so if they can figure out how to trust each other again they will own it all. Action Comics issue 1009 21 finally ended all of this year of the villain tie-in garbage, which really resulted in nothing actually happening, since if the destruction of Metropolis was an actual story point as it should have been, it would have been bigger than when Coast City was blown up by Mongol in the 90s and had long-lasting ramifications, since this after all is Metropolis, one of the most famous cities in DC Comics. Lex's team up with the Leviathan was for nothing since they immediately betrayed one another and it felt like Bendis was just trying to make his OC matter, which he really doesn't at all. Then there's the art, which continues to be absolute cancer. It's so bad and I have to question the editors who allow this level of crap to pass. At least the next story looks to answer some questions surrounding Connor Kent, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Just hope that we actually get a decent artist on this book. I'm going to give this issue a 1 out of 10.